Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my kitchen, the Cockney Spaniard, and this week I'm going to be cooking, but look, I've made an effort to tidy myself up, not a lot, but uh, better than nothing. Um, I am going to be making for you un guiso de pollo. Guiso is stew, casserole, pollo is chicken, not to be confused with polla. Polla is your willy. Now, you don't want a casserole or, uh, you know, stew your willy. Well, you could do it if you want, but uh, whatever floats your boat. So, guiso de pollo or pollo guisado. Guiso comes from the word guisantes, which are peas. So, it would be chicken casserole with peas. This, different places in Spain do it in different ways, but this, but my cooking is predominantly, traditionally Galician, where most people say, you, you know, it's the best food in Spain, but that's your choice. But I'm from Galicia, I'm Galician, and I'm gonna be cooking it in that style. So, um, let's get on with it. So for this, we've got a standard, uh, standard Spanish cooking base, which is onions, garlic, olive oil. For my good friend, Rob Ward, I've used three cloves, not four, this week. And it's really gonna wind me up because I've got OCD for symmetry. Um, equally well, I've got five chicken thighs, and, uh, I've cut them in half. If you've got a good chopper, <laughs> good chopper, use that, but mind you, don't cut your fingers off. Um, you end up with 10, but, well, whatever, d double it up. Uh, well, you'll probably get about four per person, so if you had six, you'd feed three people. Um, once the onions and the garlic sit in the way nicely, we're gonna chuck the chicken in. There we go, all in. See, my camera works any better than last week. Ooh. And give it a good stir. Once it's browned off, we'll come back to it. So it's been shizzling away nicely for about 10 minutes. You can see it's got a nice, it's getting a nice colour. The onions are starting to uh, soften up a lot, turn into a paste, which is what you want. And for our stock, we've got a chicken stock cube with a bit of hot water to dissolve. You know, I'm big on stock cubes. Uh, our sachet of saffron, always add saffron. A glass of wine, and then we top it up to cover the chicken. Right, we've got the wine, the saffron, uh, the chicken stock cube, and I've topped it out with boiling water. It's half a litre, and we'll cover it all up and see how we go. There, lovely. That's all it takes. Give it a quick stir, and let it cook its own thing over a medium heat. Put a lid on it for about, I would say, give it half an hour, and then check on it. Um, just put a knife in the chicken and see if it's nice and tender, not too hard, then you'll know it's done. Then we come back to that in about 20 minutes then, people. We've been cooking now for about 20, 25 minutes. The chicken is, is pretty, you know, it's, it's firm, but not raw. You can put stick a fork in it, give it a pinch, we'll pull it out with a, a spoon, give it a little pinch, don't burn your fingers, and you, you'll see, you'll tell. Um, it's, really, it's sufficiently enough cooked to add the potatoes. So we've got the chicken, you've got the saffron, you've got your onions, you've got your garlic, you've got your stock cube, you've got your wine. You got your water topping it up to half a litre, covering the chicken, and now the potatoes. I've used six potatoes, large-ish, medium size. Chop up a few small ones, I mean really small, um, into eggs. Reason being, because they'll dissolve and thicken up the sauce, which is what you want. You don't want it watery. Give them a stirring with the chicken. There we go, like that. Turn it up to, I've got electric, I always use electric, I should use gas, but I ain't got it, so I don't. Turn up the number five, cover it over, I would say, come back in 20 minutes and give it a check. Here we go. We've made the potatoes and <coughs> chicken cooking away together now for about 15 minutes, and they're virtually done. So, the last five minutes, we're just gonna add some peas. Here we go. Lovely. Whoops, a couple left there. Now, whatever. Um, we're not going to stir them about too much because we don't want to break up the potatoes. So what we'll do is put the lid back on and just give it, just shake it about. Give it some of that. Leave that for five minutes, then it's done. So we've got half an hour for the chicken, 15 minutes, and then an extra five minutes for the peas. All in all, under an hour. Right, so here we have the finished product. Pollo guisado or guiso de pollo. One is stewed chicken and the other one is chicken stew, done in a Spanish, mainly Galician way. Well, it's a nice, easy, quick one, under an hour, uh, really, really nice flavour. Um, 
I mean, mainly it'd be a, like an ultimate winter dish, but my mum likes it, and uh, so I thought I'd cook her some stuff to um, cheer her up a little bit. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Muchas gracias. Merci. Thank you very much. Um, and whatever other languages that uh, my viewers um, speak. Uh, couldn't do it without you. Buen, buen provecho. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.